How important is your morning routine to you? The older I get, the more I find that having a healthy routine and how I start my days is actually imperative to having a good day, feeling my best and managing to stay productive. I love showing you guys how routine changes as the seasons change, so join me on this little 6am spring morning in my life. I am so grateful for these lighter mornings, let me tell you. It means getting an earlier start to my day feels like way less effort. I try staying off my phone for the first 30 minutes or so, so I turn off notifications. I let Mochi out so he can go to the toilet and it's the perfect time for me to just soak in as much morning light as possible even if there isn't much yet it's still early instead of relying on the light from my phone to wake me up this just feels a lot better one of my favorite parts of my morning is skincare i'm finally in a place where i am consistently doing my morning and nighttime skincare routine. I'm gonna share my little secrets with you, what I've been loving, starting with the evenings. I found simplicity is key. I'm so over the 18 step skincare routine that honestly is just excessive. And so that's why I love Skin and Me. They're very kindly sponsoring this part of the video. I've been using the Daily Dozer most nights for months now. This has drastically improved my skin's texture. Just help keep my skin happy and clear. How it works is it's basically like a personalized service. So you complete a little short consultation on line just all about your skin goals the dermatology team then set you up with the perfect formulation for you there's no guessing what ingredients you think might work for your skin trying and wasting a bunch of products if there's something that isn't working for you in the formulation as well you can actually let the team know and they will amend it in your next daily dozer so they're delivered to your door it's a monthly subscription service this has just been designed incredibly and it's made skincare easy for me i also love how sustainability is a core focus for them from the packaging to the way this product is designed so it has enough products in it for one month one twist is all you need for each night so i love that there's no guesswork on like how much to use so if you guys want to try the daily dozer for yourself to help you achieve your skin goals they've actually given you guys an exclusive discount code so if you use the code becca w4y and the link that's on the screen it will also be linked in the description box you can receive your first daily dozer for just three pounds fifty. I recommend giving it a go and seeing if it works for you. So for my morning skincare, all I do is wash my face with a good cleanser. I used to be really bad at doing this. Like I would literally just wake up and brush my teeth, but nope. It's so important to clear your face of that bacteria. And then I do my proper skincare regime later on. On these mornings where I don't need to be up this early, I'm more just doing it for me. I'm showing up for me. So I find these little steps like changing into my workout clothes straight away, making my bed straight away, washing my face. It helps remove any temptation of just sort of jumping straight back into bed. I've been so proud of myself for keeping up this new healthy habit. And that is no coffee first thing. Having coffee right at the start of your day actually interferes with your body's natural cortisol production, which the main difference I feel when I have coffee first thing is just a little bit more stressed throughout the day, also more likely to crash like in the afternoon. So I've been delaying my caffeine intake until after breakfast. However, that habit of having coffee first thing for so many years, I still always have the craving for a drink first thing in the morning. Instead, I make this little AG1 nutritional drink, something that's really good for me. It's packed with vitamins, minerals. And then this point in the morning before I rush off to a workout. This is one of the reasons I love getting up a little bit earlier than I have to. Me time. There's no rushing around in the morning and it really sets a tone for the rest of the day. So I make this time for something I normally wouldn't bother with. And it isn't to scroll on my phone. It's the kind of thing that I normally would tell myself I don't have time for. So sometimes it's journaling. Or today, like many of us, I am on the Daisy Jones and the Six hype. I watched the show. I fell in love and I was like, I have to read the book. So I'm making my way through that now. I have a reformer Pilates class booked for this morning. I normally do it about once a week. And then most of the other days I go to the gym. I love, but it means I'm definitely like a little bit more stiff. And anyway, I've learned the hard way the importance of stretching out properly. So before I left, I did some simple stretching out on my balcony. Well, I mean, I tried. I think Mochi likes making this particularly difficult for me, but he's adorable, so we forgive him. I then got ready to head out. I was driving over to Pilates, got all my stuff ready and headed out the door. I think it was about 7 a.m. by this point. Yeah, nice and tall, shoulders over your hips. Squeeze your elbows by the side of your 
Pilates was good today. You guys know the drill. I literally always do Pilates in my vlog. Sorry if it's getting boring, but I just love starting my day with a workout class. You just feel really proud of yourself for getting up, especially getting up early, doing something that's good for your body first thing. You feel accountable. If you don't show up, you lose your money. And then even when you're there, you don't want to look like you're slacking. That's why I absolutely love the dynamic of workout class. Sometimes when I'm in the gym alone, it's easy to like not push myself super hard. So this is just a nice variation to my week. Then when I get home, since it's a little bit later, it's time to dedicate a portion of my morning to dog mum duties. So I feed Mochi this food from Butternut. I've spoken about them a lot before in my videos. It's just all fresh food. It's really good for him. Um, and we've been feeding it to him for over a year now and he loves it. In order for him to actually eat it though, he's developed this weird habit where he prefers if I stand by him and watch. I then take him downstairs for quick walkies because he gets his like proper walk later on in the day. to feed myself because by this point I am pretty hungry so this is one of my favorite go-to breakfasts I love it so so much it actually fuels my body it has like healthy fats it just seems like a really good balanced breakfast I'm not a nutritionist so I'm not gonna pretend that I know what I'm talking about but it goes down well so this is turkey bacon I had scrambled eggs avocado and then just some berries on the side then the least favorite part of my morning but essential sadly so i set about a 10 minute timer that's all that's i tell myself i have to get my chores done now 10 minutes is all it's going to take so I usually start in the kitchen today i actually also put on a load of laundry this makes me feel like a productive queen doing this at the start of my day the reason for the timer is it tells my brain like it's not going to take that long and also this is the period in my morning where i'm going to procrastinate because obviously i don't love chores so if i don't just get into it i'm gonna end up scrolling on my phone and putting it off now finally getting into the getting ready portion of my morning today was a bit more extensive than normal because i was shooting content later but anyway we were having a hair wash day I always use the Redken shampoo and conditioner combo. I'll try to remember to link it below. It keeps my hair healthier than it probably should be, to be honest, because that's what you have for being a fake blonde. Also, this sounds so bad, but I keep getting the urge to go back to dark brown, like my natural color. So I don't know if I'm opening up a kind of worms here. Let me know in the comments. Do we like the blonde? Should I keep the blonde? I kind of hate how indecisive I am. And also a little hair care tip. I love using a little microfiber towel for my hair just to prevent breakage. I get a spring playlist on. I don't know, I love getting like a little morning playlist on for this part of my morning whilst I'm getting ready. For skincare today, I wanted to try some new products I got through um, in PR. So starting with this Neom body butter, which just felt amazing. I think this has like relaxing properties in it or something, something related to the scent. I don't know, felt so nice on my skin. Even though uh, my products do interchange occasionally, every morning i follow the same step so i cleanse tone use serum i've started using a little eye cream actually just because i do have quite dark under eyes and i'm finding this helps and then i also moisturize but some days when i have a little bit extra time feeling a little bit bougie i will go in with a gua sha for like five minutes not for long My everyday makeup, um, I like to keep it simple. And I feel like you guys have seen me do it quite a few times, but I have been loving the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. This is my new makeup favorite. Not new at all though, because this concealer has been around for the longest time. It's been raved about for the longest time, but it's my first time using it and I'm obsessed. It lives up to the hype. Then I am so lazy with hair. Normally I'll just leave it, but it will go frizzy and I wanted to look cute today. So I gave it a quick blast with my Dyson. 
This literally takes like 10 minutes. I don't even bother like parting my hair or anything. Since not having an office job as well, like working from home most of the time and not having a boss, etc. Motivation and discipline can definitely be not there, <laughs> lacking a bit to say the least. I don't know why getting ready in the morning, even if it is just for me, it feels like self-improvement and it makes me feel more ready for the day. I actually recently got um, this like mindful affirmations pack. You basically put out a new card like every week or every day if you want and it has some words of affirmation on it which I think is really cute. I love having it on my desk whilst I'm working and then yes, I do work. I finally get into work. I feel like every time I do these morning routines people are like, this girl does not have a job. Believe it or not, this is my job. So lots of different elements that come into running this channel. So the morning was an admin and editing day but every day starts with my approach to planning which is basically on notion i have like a little notion planner template i'll leave a link below if you want to check it out so i like to categorize my to-do lists for the day in a way that helps me like prioritize the urgency of the tasks if you've never done this believe me it makes a huge difference or at least for me like how my brain works it does and then i also like to do a little bit of time blocking on like my particularly busy days just so I set realistic standards for myself, like how long a task is actually gonna take me because otherwise I could spend all day on a one hour task. Do you wanna go hockeys? <gasps> let's go! Okay, let's go, 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 go! And then around lunchtime, I take Mochi out for his like proper walk of the day. I love this, it helps to just like break up the day. Try not to have like this same structure to most days. And that was my little spring morning routine. So find a way to fall in love with your mornings. Enjoy building a routine, a system that works for you, showing up for yourself every morning. Remember to check out Skin and Me with a link in my description bar and also use my code BeccaW4Y to get the daily dozer for just £3.50. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.